Hi everybody, Tristan's here. Welcome to Trist time. First off, I want to say I hope all of y'all are looking forward to Halloween and everything else. It's, a lot of things are going to go down this entire Hall Halloween weekend. You got Halloween parties. You got kids ready to go trick-or-treating. It's like from one town after another and everything else. And plus... You know, all the costumes and everything, all the decorations and scaring everybody. You know, you got Halloween movies, Halloween stories, the ones I'm about to tell right now. Other things are, you know, this entire month, you know, I have scared a lot of people this month by, by my stories and everything else. And most importantly, I have made people laugh. I have done... You know, funny, scary stories as well. So, I did scare a lot of people. I did scare some pe most people with my stories around this entire month and everything. Especially with my Omni family and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, sometimes I, I mean, heck, I feel like I always tell everybody it's not the first time or the second time or the third time I have creeped and freaked everybody out. I only do it when this month comes around. You know, what can I say? I'm in the spirit of Halloween. I've been looking at scary movies like this entire month and been reading and telling a lot of scary stories and everything else. You know, if you're in the spirit of Halloween, you should know, you know, this is the only time, you know, you get to like be scared and or do something funny that people are going to find scary and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? But here's the other thing. How many of y'all believe in curses? You know, I know you guys have looked at movies and y'all seen a lot of movies that there are a lot of people who are cursed. But do you really believe in reality that some, some things in this world has a curse? Because if you say you do, because if you say you don't believe in it, or you say there's no such thing, my my advice to you is, I don't, I don't usually say that. It's like saying if you go to a fortune teller and she tells you about your future and all that kind of stuff, and sometimes the future is not exactly what she says it's going to be. And you would go back to her and say, you want your money back and all that kind of stuff. And then all of a sudden, you don't get it back. But out of somewhere, sometimes that fortune teller does tell the truth. You know, like I always say, you just never know if things are true or some things are not. Or something is a myth or sometimes things are a legend. But sometimes the curses can be right and sometimes you never know if you might get cursed or you some or it could or the curse or you attract the curse to you. Basically that's what my story is basically about. Story is called Full Moon or Not, a curse is always there from the werewolf. Hi creatures. Every curse comes in its own forms. You just don't know if the forms are good or evil. You might think there's no way you could scare someone or bring terror to one town after another. That's only if the curse gets a hold of you. When it does, you can't get rid of it. The only way to stop it is to end you or someone will, which of course is true. The only way to end the curse is by if you take your own life or someone else is going to take it. They say I come to life when there's a full moon, which is true. Once you hear the howling, that means I'm on the hunt for my prey. And I'm not talking about animals, I'm talking about human blood. You are all my prey. The moon may be, the moon may be the beautiful sight to see. 
but it's also the fear you should expect to come. There's no telling what kind of evil can come out during the full moon. And believe me, I have no remorse for anything that I hunt. Once I have my tastes of you, you can never cross to the other side until the curse is lifted. But when you don't stop me, I never stop the terrorizing from one town to the other. The moon brings me to life. You being, you being very afraid of me don't matter to me. The more blood I taste makes me hunger for more, which is true. Anytime a werewolf tastes the human blood, it is on the hunt for more. So whatever curse there is in the world, you should be very afraid for your life. Which is completely true, you know. We don't know what kind of curses there are in the world. Sometimes people believe in voodoo and sometimes people don't believe in voodoo. Sometimes people don't believe in vampires, but, you, but there are bats in the world that we do see. Like I always say, you never know what to see, what to believe or what to see. You know, I believe in my own two eyes about what I do see. You know, not saying I have seen a vampire because if I ever do, then hell. What would I do? You know, sometimes vampires only come during night. When it comes to a werewolf, a werewolf only comes when a full moon is out. Especially if if it's two if it's two legs, you know, anything can happen because a werewolf is hunger for prey and it will terrorize anything in its way. So. The thing is, as far as curses goes, my advice to all of you is to, if you say you don't believe in a curse, just this piece of advice. Never say that out loud. Because if you do say that out loud one time, you never know what could come to you? I'm just telling you, giving you a little advice. You never know. Okay? But, I hope you guys enjoyed my story. I hope it probably got you scared, probably got you thinking. But most importantly, I hope, I hope you guys are so ready to be scared some more for this week. And for this weekend and ready to have some fun with either your friends or have some fun with your with your kids and everything else so i'll have some more scary stuff for you pretty soon and everything else all right i promise well as always god bless all of you love y'all